stabilizing yoga flow and this is also for beginners so in this one we are going to focus more on our endurance our stamina and we'll be including more repetitions of Sudhi Namaskar so I hope you guys will enjoy it practice along with me and let's get ready together so just come on your mat stand tall raise your arms up Join your hands at your back, inhale and slowly bend down, hold here, you can softly bend your knees if you want to, if you feel any stiffness in your hamstrings, just bend your knees slightly and hold for 5 rounds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now slowly again come back, go back, again hold and again come forward down. We will repeat this for 5 rounds. Come back, go back and again come forward down. Now try to place your palm to the ground by softly bending your knees. You can see I have bent my knees very gently and then placing my palms to the ground. You can follow this, you will feel a good stretch in your hamstrings and it will surely open up your hamstring muscles. So, let's do that. Again one more time. Go back and come back down. Go down. Last time. Go back. And down. And hold. Hold here for 5 pounds now, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and slowly by rolling your back, rotating your arms from your sides, joining your hands at your heart center balance. Now we are going for some neck rotation, just your hands on your waist and start. One, two. Three. Just rotate your hands very gently. Five times clockwise. Five times anti clockwise. Now at the side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And relax. Now just open your legs. Just wider than your shoulders. Check your position. Your heels should be in line with one another. Just open it to maximum. Open your arms and slowly. Now we are going for side lunge. How to do that? Just grasp your palm in front of your chest. Squeeze your glutes and slowly by bending your right knee go down. And hold. It's okay if you can go till here. Just hold for 10 rounds, take long deep breaths and with a smile, just go with the practice. Enjoy your practice and keep smiling. Hold it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and now from here, just Rotate to your right hand side, place your palm, your both palms on the mat, down your left knee to the ground, now from here, just down your left knee to the ground, flatten your toes, lift your hands up, your hands at your heart center and slowly hold, five, Look in front, keep your spine erect and your chest open. Four, just smile on your face. Three, two, one, and again place your palm to the ground and lift your left leg up, turn towards in center and come back to normal position. Now we'll repeat the same on the other side. Just interlace your hands. Cast your fingers together and now we are going to other side. Slowly squeeze your
your glutes, bend your left knee and go down to side lunge and hold. Just keep focusing on your abs, keep squeezing your glutes and with a smile, just go for it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and slowly from here, just turn towards your left hand side by placing your both hands down to the ground by drawing your right knee down to the ground, flattening your toe, join your hands at your heart center, keeping your spine erect, your chest lifted, draw your navel in towards the spine and have a smile and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Again, place your palm down to the ground, lift your right knee up and slowly come back to center. Now from here, just place your both hands, your both palms onto your thighs and slowly bend your both knees and come to sumo squat. Just try to open up your legs to outside and hold. You can slowly start doing pulses now. Five, four, three, two, one. It will surely burn your quad muscles and you will feel a good strength, a good stretching in your hamstrings, in your inner thighs. Now slowly just try to come on your toes by lifting your heels, keeping your spine erect, your chest lifted, your abs tight and a smile on your face. You can just enjoy doing this and hold. Just try to bring your balance. Focus on any one point. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly put your heels down. And from here, just turn your right shoulder and try to look towards the ceiling. Look up towards the ceiling and hold. You feel a stretch at your obliques. This side of your body. Hold. Five, four, just keep breathing in and out. Three, two, one, and slowly come forward, come in center, and do the other side. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come back to center, straighten your legs, and slowly come to front of your mat. Now we are going to practice some rounds of Surya Namaskar that is also known as the celebration. And now today, as we are going for energizing flow, we will be adding few variations in our Surya Namaskar. So let's do it and I hope you people will enjoy it and love it doing it. So go for it. Join your hands at your heart center. Raise your hands up. Exhale. Bend forward down. Now, just try to bend your knees. Draw your chest towards your thighs. Just try to draw it. And now try to straighten your leg. And press your chest more towards your thighs. Stay here. Keep breathing in and out. Now place your palm or your fingertips onto the mat and bring your right leg down and your left leg back down and come in plank. Just try to remember your wrist should be in line with your shoulders and your body in a straight line from head to toe. Now from here, just put your knees down, your chest and your chin down to the ground. Number six, flatten your toes, raise your chest up by sliding it forward and try to look in front or look towards the ceiling. Just relax your shoulders and try to open up your chest. The best way to do cobra stretch 
You'll feel a good stretch at your back. Now from here, we are going for our first downward facing dog. Tuck your toes and slowly lift your hips up. Try to press your heels down to the ground. Draw your navel in towards the spine. Pull your shoulders away from your ears and take long deep breaths here. Just feel the downward facing dog. It's an effective pose to strengthen your entire body. We'll hold for five counts. Five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly we are going to lift our right leg up towards the ceiling. Try to stretch it as much as possible. And if you cannot stretch by placing your left heel down to the mat, you can always lift your heel up and then Stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling. Now slowly bring your right leg in front between your hands again. And now slowly we are going for crescent lunge by joining our hands. You can try to do like this or if not possible just place your hands at your heart center. And look in front by lifting your chest open and hold for five counts. Five, four, three, two, one. With a smile, just enjoy practicing it. And again, place your hands down to the ground. Bring your right leg back. Come back to downward facing dog. Now we are going to repeat the same on opposite side. Lift your left leg up towards the ceiling, bend your left leg, place it between your arms. Slowly, by balancing and focusing on your body, just join your hands overhead, or you can choose to place your palm at your heart center. Keep breathing in and out, just keep your chest open and lift it. Hold. Five. Four, three, two, one. Place your palm down to the ground. Again, come back to downward facing dog. Now, from here, we are going to move our feet forward towards our hands and go to forward folding. Just try to place your fingertips down to the mat, or you can softly bend the knees. And place your palm down to the ground. Draw your chest towards your thigh and feel the stretch in your hamstrings and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And now slowly lift your arms up overhead and relax. So now we are going for other three rounds and we'll be adding more variations to it. So let's flow with me and let's have a good practice together. So again, join your palm at your heart center. Inhale, lift your hands up, exhale, bend down. You can softly bend your knees if you feel stiffness or if you feel like you can do this much, go for it. Just listen to your body always. Now, bring your left leg back and then your right leg and come in plank. Now, hold in plank for 5 pounds. Keep squeezing your abs and keep your body in a straight line. Hold 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, put your knees down, your chest down and your chin down to the ground. Remember to hover your hips. Only your knees, your chest and your chin on the ground. Rest of the body off the ground. And slowly, by sliding your chest forward, just come to cobra stretch. Relax your shoulders and try to place your pelvic region down to the ground. And hold for 5 counts. 5, 4, 3, 2. Keep your chest lifted. 1. Now tuck your toes. And come to again downward facing dog. So 
with practice you will see an improvement in your downward facing dog. You will be able to touch your heels down to the ground and it's okay if your heels are not touching. Just try to be consistent in your practice and you will see the improvement. Now from here, just lift your right leg up again and bend your right leg and bring it towards your left hand side and hold for 5 counts. Just focus on your balancing. Just balance your body. Focus on your breath and hold 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and from here just bring your right knee closer towards your right elbow and tuck in and hold. 5, 4, keep breathing, keep smiling. Last three, last two, last one, and come back again to downward facing dog. Very nice, good. Now we we'll go for other side. Just bring your left leg up towards the ceiling. Stretch it completely. Give your hundred percent. Bend your leg towards your right hand side and hold for. Other five counts. Five. Keep breathing in and out. Four. Three. Last two. Last one. And from here, just bring your left knee closer to put your left elbow. Tuck in and hold. Just try to make a balance. Keep squeezing your abs inside. Draw your navel in towards the spine and hold. Five. Four. 3, 2, 1 and again bring back your leg down to the mat, stay in, downward facing dog, just try to feel a good stretch, you will be able to see your head is touching to the mat if you consistently practicing it. Now just walk your feet again towards your hands and come to forward folding. Stay here for 5 pounds. You can swing your body or you can choose to stay at one place. That is up to you. Hold 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly bring your hand overhead or towards the ceiling and relax again. Come back to center. Now, we are going for next two rounds, keep breathing in and out and if you feel like taking a break, you can take a break for 5 to 10 seconds, have a sip of water, then again continue practicing. So, your hands at your heart center, inhale and exhale, let it out. Coming forward, folding, now just Try to press your chest towards your thighs. Draw your chest towards your thighs and hold 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now gently bend your knees and now we are adding a jump to our practice. So just try and if not possible, you can always choose to do stepping. And if possible, just try to practice along with me. Go for it. Just draw your chest towards your thighs and slowly come, go back to plank. Very nice. Go for it. Now from here, just bend down, completely down to the ground. Flatten your toes and come to cobra stretch. Very nice. Keep breathing, relax your shoulders, press your pelvic region down to the ground and you can choose to look towards the ceiling or look in front. Hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep breathing in and out and with a smile of course. Last two, last one, a 
again touch your toes underneath your and come back to downward facing dog. Very nice. Good attempt. Keep breathing in and out. Now slowly lift your right leg up, bend your neck and place it between your arms. Just try to place it between your hands. Place your left knee down to the ground. Keep your left toe flexed. Now slowly bring your hand on your right thigh and just try to straighten your leg. Straighten your leg, flex your right foot and hold your right foot and hold it. Just try to look in front and hold. Five, four, three. You feel a good stretch in your hamstrings. It's a good exercise to open up your hamstring muscles. You can try, practice this to open up your hamstrings. Last three, last two, last one and slowly again come back forward by placing your palm down to the ground, lifting your left knee up and come back to plank. Come to plank and now again go to downward facing dog. Stay here, take your position, feel the stretch. Now slowly lift your left leg up, lift it up completely, bend your leg and place it between your hands. Place your right knee down to the ground, keep your right foot flexed, put your right and both of your hands on your left thigh and slowly just straighten your left leg, lifting your toes up, flex your left foot and hold with both of your hands, look in front, keep your chest lifted and open and hold. Five, four, three, two, one and slowly again place your palm down to the ground on your mat and bring your leg back, come to plank Come to downward facing dog. Now stay here for five counts. Take five long, deep breaths. Keep inhaling, keep exhaling out. The long way you hold the pose, and it's like the better you feel a stretch. So, yoga is all about. How much you can hold a pose without any uh, feeling any uncomfortability? Like you are just flowing with it. Yoga is all about that. So hold last two, last one, and now slowly come to tabletop position. So this is also known as tabletop pose. Just check your position. Your knees in line with your hips, your wrists in line with your shoulders, tuck your toes and the knee, keep your spine neutral. Now slowly from here, just lift your right hand up and bring it under your chest and hold. Keep your left hand extended and hold for 10 counts. 10, 9, Eight. So this is also known as this is also known as uh, threading the needle. It's like you are doing something from there and threading into a needle. Last five, last four, last three, last two, and one. Slowly. Come back to tabletop and from here just arch your back, look in front and come to power pose. Round your back, tuck your chin to your chest and come to cat pose. One more time. Inhale, look in front, arch your back. Exhale, drop your back completely, separate your shoulder blades. 
means and come to that pose. Now we are doing on the other side, lifting arm, left hand up, placing it like this and hold. Just extend your right arm in front of the key. You feel a good stretch. And I think it's like a funny pose, but it's wicked. So just practice along with me and you'll feel amazing doing it. Hold for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now slowly again, come back to the top. Now separate your knees as well as your back. Flatten your toes or under your toes and come to child pose. Extend your arms from the knee in front. Place your forehead down to the ground. Place your chest towards your thighs and relax. Relax yourself, keep breathing in and out. Take long, full deep breaths. Calm your breath, calm yourself. And whenever you feel complete, just lie down on your stomach and slowly. Interlace your fingers at your back, join your knees together and with inhalation, just lift your chest up. Look in front, you'll feel a good stretch at your back. So it's one of these little exercises to do when you have lower back pain. It will surely give you relaxation at your back. Keep holding for 5 pounds, 5. Four, three, two, one, and slowly relax it down. Relax your hands. Keep breathing in and out. Now just bend your knees, grab your ankles, and now we are going for bow pose. So it's like a bow, and in yoga, it's also known as dhanu asana, like a dhanu. And slowly with inhalation, just lift your thighs and your chest up and try to look in front. Keep your chest lifted and open and hold for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And slowly relax it down to the ground. Now relax yourself for a few seconds. Keep breathing in and out. Keep inhaling, keep exhaling out. And now whenever you feel complete, just put your hands right closer to your chest and slowly come up and sit down. At your place. Now your legs straight, your spine erect, and with a smile on your face, we are going for sitting forward bending. So just raise your arms overhead, inhale, and bend forward down. Just go this much, just try to grab your ankle or try to grab your toes and you feel stiffness softly bend your knees and just hold it now try to straighten it one leg at a time you feel a stretch in your hamstrings and try to look in front keep breathing in and out and hold 5 4 3 2 1 and slowly come back up, roll your hands and relax. Now we are going for butterfly pose. Just 
come in butterfly hold your you can see hold your toes like this and now what we are going to do is we are going to move our spine straight and then roll so just roll for five times just keep your spine erect keep your chest lifted and then just roll it down completely it's a good exercise for your spine keep inhaling keep exhaling out keep breathing four three keep doing it you feel the relaxation in your spine and at your back last two keep breathing in and out last one and relax your back neutral just straighten your legs completely and now it's time for complete relaxation we are going to do shavasana or we can say a relaxation for next 5 minutes just widen your legs as wide as your mat your arms away from your body your palm facing upwards towards the ceiling your shoulders relaxed and gently close your eyes keep breathing in and out keep inhaling and exhaling out observe and notice your breath the rhythm of your breath the rhythm of every exhalation and every exhalation every inhalation and every exhalation keep breathing Now today we are going to practice body scanning so we focus to each and every part of our body by bringing our attention to every part. Now slowly bring your attention to your toes, to sole of your foot, to your heels, ankle joints, shins and calf muscles. your knee caps front and back of your thighs your groin region your pelvic area your hips moving upwards towards our stomach our navel our abs our chest shoulders right arm and left arm Bring our awareness to our shoulder blades, to our upper back, to our middle back, and to the base of your spine, our lower back. Just relax your spine. The spine should be grounded to the mat. Drop all your efforts to the ground and go for complete relaxation. Now bring your attention to your neck, towards your face, and to the top region of our head. Feel the flow of energy, flow of vibrations, and the sensations flowing in and out throughout our body. Just be grateful for this moment, for practicing. of coming on to your mat just say thanks to yourself keep breathing in and out now slowly whenever you feel complete just turn towards your right hand side by bending your knees and sit down on your mat in sukhasana by placing your palms onto your knees 
your palm facing upwards, your chest lifted, your back straight, your shoulders relaxed and a gentle smile on your face. Now join your hands. We'll finish our practice by showing our gratitude by chanting Om one time. Inhale. Oh. Bye-bye.